to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, we have someone here, and she's already been moaning at me that when I bought her this, I should have bought her more than one colour. Oh, it's lovely. We're going to have to have a look, aren't we? Yeah. That's probably the best thing that I've yes. picked her up all year. And she's even got her slippers on, which are going to come in handy for one of the outfits. Okay. So, if you haven't seen this kind of like series we do, every month we take it in turns, normally for like a seasonal change, where mum will buy for me and I will buy for mum. The purpose of these videos is not to buy what we think the other person wants to wear. We buy what we want them to wear. So sometimes it might go swimmingly well, which is like this jumper. Mum never would have picked this up if she was out on her own, would you? No, but... Grey, cream, I went back to find she, out, She wants I? all of them. And then likewise, Mum has picked some bits for me that you would never see me in. But this is the fun of these challenges. And you guys seem to absolutely love these. So they will be sticking around for 2023. We just need to think of maybe some different themes. Because what we'll do is we'll always pick three different themes. So for winter, we have had a Christmas Day loungewear set. We have had an outfit for Christmas markets. And then a version of like... Christmas glam, fashion, everything like that. So if you saw it last month, everyone raved about the Christmas market outfit. Oh, right. The one where it was the shirt with the jumper. I've still been trying to get my hands on the cream one of that. Do I you think I can it. find it? Love nor money, no. But at least I've got one. So now it's my turn. So I'm actually happy because we managed to get a Christmas Primark bag. However, I thought they would have done a reusable one. Maybe like in red or green. Yeah, that, Instead of just got, that plain white and brown. They've the not they? But Christmas There's nothing time, festive. No. So I'm a little bit gutted at that. But you would have seen if you just saw the top in there. Red is a key theme in this. So if you haven't seen these videos before, we get everything out of the bag. We go through them. And at the end, you see mum's back-to-back -back clips. But this is the last video we're doing with the tree in the background. Right, oh, actually, no. It might not be. January. Yeah, it's going to be our last Primark, but another thing I've had a lot of people asking for, if you remember earlier on in this year, we'd done the 73 questions with Vogue. Oh, right, yeah, quick yeah. Fire oh, yeah, yeah. People want us to do that round again and see if our what, answers January? change. Yeah. Oh, right. So you'll still see the Christmas tree for a bit, but this is going to be the last Primark haul with the Christmas right. tree. What, when we trying things on? Yeah, it's a right. sad time. So let's get in with it and see what I've picked up for Mama G, eh? Right. <laughs> so... She's already got one part on, which is great, because again, on the other haul, I picked her up some slippers, which she has not took off of her feet. And again, you want more colours in them, don't you? Well, We're going to have a whole collection I've, worth I've of I've seen the newspaper, they do them in a pink, but if I get pink, I can't go out to the uh, rubbish men in them. I just have Well, to I hope these. you don't go out to the rubbish men in them, Mum. Well, sometimes. But I'll put me uh, platform Ugg decoy ones on. Because they're a bit higher. We have like slippers for running out and then slippers which are like just indoors. Mm. Nice slippers. Yeah. So, I think of Christmas loungewear and I think of snoodies. Which, I did ask mum to pick herself one up for Christmas and do you think she did? No. I, however, did get a new snoody which I was very, very happy with. So, when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This may potentially be a belated Christmas present if she likes it that much. But, for me, this is to pair with your little slip slips. Oh, right. And it is a big Mickey Mouse snoody. Oh, she had no expensive. I've seen that. <laughs> I did see that, viewers, but I was a little bit... Don't the worry no, about no. the price. Now, this isn't like the material of my one. So, my one's like teddy bear. I would say yeah. this is... It's still teddy buccal, bear, but it's... Isn't it? It's like a buccal. Yeah, like a yeah. tweed. However, feel inside, it's all velvet. Oh, that's all right. And what I... Size? It's a medium to large, but they are very oversized. Well, that's good, yeah. I like this for the sleeves because it's got elasticated cuff sleeves because we've got short arms. Oh, yeah, yeah. So normally snoodies on us come down way, way long. But I just thought it was really nice. And I really like the print because it's kind of like... There are lots of other prints there, though, weren't there? Why yeah. did you pick that one? Because I thought it's festive and it's like an Apres Ski Mini. Mickey. Oh, right. I just really like that. And I thought that with your little slippers... Is a perfect Christmas Day outfit because you just want to be comfy. This is something that if you'd have had well, we Christmas had Day, yesterday, didn't we? I think you would have had your bath and then you would have been in this for the rest I'm of the day. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. We're still a bit ill in this house, no. so a little bit twitchy noses and coughs. This is something that I could see you would literally just stay in the house in all day in. Oh, go shopping in there, viewers. <laughs> we saw a lady in um, a snoody getting her Christmas shopping, didn't we, when we yeah, went down yeah. Wednesday. I was like, I rock that. And it wasn't this one. quite an one. lady, wasn't it she? It wasn't this one, but it was a Disney one, because I remember it had Minnie down the arms. And she was loving life. I was like, you go, girl. 
Right. Oh, yeah, they can't stop you going in the shop like they no, said they that can't. they were was going to try a supermarket stop you going in if you've got a onesie on, isn't it? So, I me. think that my Primark had a little bit of a till malfunction because some of the bits that I got did not scan up at the price that they should have done. So, this should have been £23, but it scanned through at 15 which oh, I didn't think too was fabulous. too bad. I can't smell too much because of my cold sore crack. So I think oh. if you want, I will, this will be a belated Christmas present to you. If you like it and you try it on, oh, I will see. This will be it, a belated. It might be, yeah, well, Shane. I know you go one extreme to the other, but we, me and you might be able to get in there. Well, I always get my sandwiches. I think are small to medium, and they're always oversized. And what's that one? That's a medium to large. Right, but okay. they are oversized, oversized. Oh, that's a good result. Then, I know it come through, and I said to my friend, I was like. That's not the right I, price. I, I did, was like, be quiet. I did see that. It was 20 odd pound, wasn't 23, it? 23. Yeah, half a, right. And then something else it scanned through. It should have been oh. 22, and it scanned through at 7. Oh, show me, show me. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I don't think that's right. My friend was like, quiet, quiet, yeah. quiet. I was like, okay. Right, so Christmas market. Are we having a Christmas market one again? This is our Christmas market. Is now. this the one you buy for me? Yeah, because right, you've done this for me. Yeah, last okay time. then. I got mum a little like khaki grey bobble hat because one thing when we was at Winter Wonderland, I need a hat. My head's cold. My ears are cold. That's so that's not your cream one, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like a khaki yeah, grey. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So I thought we all know that mum don't do fedoras, but I think you could get away with a beanie hat. Right. <laughs> they're four pound they have gone up in price but i do think the quality's better it seems to be yeah, a thicker cable yeah. knit it's like a cable isn't it it's kind of reminds me of the quality of my super dry one. Oh, that was expensive with yeah. your gloves and scarf wasn't it but that i don't think is too bad yeah. for four quid i think that's a nice star one and it's like what, what do you say that color I is it's like a khaki greeny gray yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like odd in different lights very good viewers and then i just wanted one staple piece that Mum would probably wear tights with it. I wouldn't. I would say bare legs because of the footwear that I've got with it. But this, to me, is comfort in a jumper dress. <coughs> so, it has a hood, right. so it's practical. If yeah. we go out Winter Wonderland, it starts to rain. And then it comes down, and it is a drawstring jumper dress. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it. The silence No, no. Feel. But maybe if it's a bit short, I can wear it underneath, over top of jeans. If you want it. Yeah. I personally wouldn't. I would just rock this with the footwear that I've got you. Oh, all right then, okay. I thought that you yeah, say yeah. it's quite thin. I like it, it because... It's surprising. It might be quite long, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's got cuff sleeves because we are short in the arms. But I liked it because around the yeah. middle, you see the little drawstring bits in? You yeah, pull yeah. them in. So you can cinch it right in and <laughs> that waist. Oh, well, don't want to put the waist in, Shen. And that was £14, which I didn't think was too bad. No. They had it in black and blue, but I thought, we'll try grey, because you yeah. like your grey tracksuit. I got you last year, weren't yeah, you? Yeah. And I got size extra large, which is 18 to 20. All right, thank you. Tell the viewers. No, no, but I thought, if it's oversized, at least with a drawstring, you can draw it in. As so long as the girls get in, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, with a hood, it's very practical, because if it is raining, then... That's fine. So you've got 14 18 pounds for that. And then these boots, I was very tempted to pick these up myself, but I didn't. These were £20, which I think, again, a really good value for money. Oh, I like them, viewers, but I'm just thinking of my age. Mum, they're you know? a pair of Chelsea boots. But they're like the high-leg Chelsea boots. Yeah, yeah. So well, these, I'll try them. 20 quid. I don't think it's too no. bad. This is probably the next this style. This is similar to the pair that you pulled your thing off for of River Island and the sole come off, isn't it? This is probably the style, not this colouring. I want black leather for my next pair of DMs. Well, like well. a three, like, I don't know what oh, they love is me my um, memory card. I've used too much memory over Christmas. But as I was saying, I don't quite know what these are, like a Chelsea boot and a half. Because they come up to like halfway and up your car. They look bigger than a five, don't they? I think it's just because of the chunky oh, sole, right. maybe. Okay, then. But yeah, this in black leather is what I'm thinking of for my next DM boot. Like a three-quarter Chelsea boot. Right. But with the DM ones, they have like, they don't have it at the front, but they have like a pulley at the back. Like the tape normally. Yeah. yeah. But I thought these were really nice. They had them in black, grey and blue. But I thought camel, very neutral to go with grey and it will tie it very nicely, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to get more brands into both of our wardrobes, yeah. didn't we? And then... So, when I said it's like Christmas glam, there wasn't a lot to choose from, I'm not going to lie. Um, 
and half of the stuff mum just would not have wore. I couldn't get her like a velvet one shoulder ruffle dress or oh, no, a no, sequin no. suit. It just she just would not have worn that. No. So I saw this and I thought, right. Because obviously when you went, there wasn't much left, was No, there, there was still a lot left, but oh, it was right. just, I couldn't, you'd end up looking like a disco ball. Oh, okay. And my friend was like, are you really going to do a dirty? And I was like, I could, but I played it disco, safe. Disco. So I saw this and I thought this could be, first off the print, very autumnal winter vibes. Yeah. Good with the boots? <clears throat> well, you've got another pair of boots. Oh, right. However, I didn't realise it's a size 20... But it's part of the parenthood range. I didn't realise this until oh, that's all right. got to the checker. Because you bought me a long jumper once. Something yeah. before in parenthood range. Right. So this come up at £22, but scanned through at 7 Oh, right. So I was like, even if mum don't like it, I will cut that to pieces and sink it in. So it's kind of like a really long boho maxi shirt dress. Oh, I like that. Do you? Yeah. We was very contemplating. Me and my friend, we stand there for about 10 minutes and I was like, is she going to like it? Is she going to think it's frumpy? I really like the print. And How I long thought, is it? Yeah. So it'll go down, down, down. It's probably going to come like just below your knees because we're short. Well, I reckon that would be all right. So if I've got a pair of cream tights with them, I'll, I'll, I'll have I've got that. boots to go with this. Oh, oh, it up a okay bit. Then. Right. So I liked it because, again, it's all balloon sleeves yeah. and it's that cheesecloth material. Yeah. So something like this, I was on the hunt for a body warmer, but they didn't have any. But I thought like this, you could pair with like a faux fur coat or like a little furry body warmer. Well, layer no, it up. I'll look for one in the cells. But I thought that was quite nice. And for the length of it, it's very flowy. Maybe a, a brown or cream one if I yeah. get one. Yeah. I didn't realise, as I say, until we got to the thing that it was part of Parenthood Collection. Oh, that's I was like, oopsie. But I did like that dress you got. But yeah. it looked like somebody had trod on it, wasn't it? And then these, close your eyes on these. Right, these to me are very much, if they was in black, this would be what mum would have worn back in the day. These are the type of boots that got stuck down the drain pipe. Do you have a vision of these poops? Mm -hmm. So I got these in a size Can five. I have Not yet. These are seventeen pound. You see what I mean for drain pipe heels? Ta da! Oh <laughs> no! Well, I'll say it. My ones weren't supported. That was the only thing. Yours was a yeah. round toe, weren't it? And the heels, the heels weren't, weren't so the same. High. No, the heels was tall and slim. Like I did. Like you see that? That was like that all the way down. It didn't have the blob. But I will give them a go. I saw them and I was like, they are like typical mum vibes when we used to go to Christmas pano in black. Never used to have brown. But, but it was a high black. one with a zip, and not it? Yeah. But and these we was waiting like a... to get on the coach viewers and I fell down the hole. But these are like a little sock one. So oh, you right. just like stretch them and put your foot into them. Oh, right. I know hers weren't as pointy, but there weren't any round toes. So I thought <laughs> that with that, it would dress it up and give you a bit of height. Yeah. Yeah. So... Let's go and try them on, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Where have I got to come down to? You. You have to come right down yeah, yeah. to me, I think. What? Oh, I like that. Stand back. because Oh, yeah, oh. they can see your head. You got your slips on with it? Yeah. Oh, and it's got pockets. Yeah. I didn't realise it had pockets. <laughs> She's got the tag hanging out. Yeah, I've done it. How do you find your snoody? All right. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> I thought getting medium to large. I thought but extra large. But it's Do you sleep in it? I sleep in my snooties. People are probably going to be like, no, nope, but I, th I, I think, do everything I think I think it's more to, if you've got pyjamas on and you're cold, you put it over the top on it. And like run errands and... Well, go out in it. I'd go out in my snooties. I'd definitely rock my uh, baby Yoda one down there. Oh, well, I, I could have a pair of jeans and a little <laughs> uh, a, a vest top underneath <laughs> on it and then just run out and do the shopping. Oh yeah, that's not too bad, is it? So, the so, right. so it's not a bad length. Mum's about five two, five three, and it comes just about to her knee. I didn't realise it had pockets, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> and it's got a hood, so it's practical it's if it is getting cold. We're going to turn into a monk again. <laughs> Let me see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's all right. Oh, you look like a little red riding hood. Oh, come to me, little <laughs> What's that thing? Oh, the tag sticky there. Uh, what's it? Oh, you are such a big bear. Come to see me. That's Goldilocks. Oh, oh. Goldilocks oh, and the three oh, bears. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. I think if oh. he was 
if you had this for Christmas Day yeah. and you was literally doing nothing about the house and you just wanted to chuck sand oh, on, yeah, yeah. chill. I mean, I would say do dinner, but you have to be careful no. you don't get any fat spat on it. Yeah, and not only that, you can just wear a pair of leggings with it, can't you? What have you done to your legs? You've been scratching been, your yeah, legs. Yeah, I've been having each. Scratching her legs and cutting her legs. I like that. Yeah, I do. I should have got some red little socks with it, but I give that like a 9 out of 10. I like that. Oh, I'll look when I go down this week, because I think you can get some Mickey Mouse slipperettes, can't you? Oh, we'll get some matching yeah. pairs. Yeah. What would you give that out of 10? 10. Oh, she likes that. Yeah. Now no, she's not going to, uh, she'll be going from the brand jumper that she always wears now to this yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, we can't go to a restaurant in London in this, can I? Oh, God, can you imagine? I'd be like, no, sorry, she um, she doesn't wear No, clothing. well, it's, go it's going to be warmer with most of them, isn't it? Hopefully. There's yeah. a few that are going to be, we need to be wrapped up for in January. Yeah. But Oh, yeah, yeah. We can maybe have a look for some nice jumper dresses, maybe for the end of the month. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go if I see Thursday, if I see any, get some. It's right, be long. Got to be long. Let's right. have a look now. The Christmas market. Right, guys, can you believe this is the last episode of this little series for 2023? 2023? No, 2022. Before we get into 2023, my goodness, I'm wishing away the years already. I definitely feel like we will keep up with this. If there's any other stores that you want us to try, maybe. So it might be like one month we'll do Primark. One month we might do Matalan. We might do Florence and Fred or Asda. Let me know. So do you want us to stick just with Primark? Or do you want us to do a I bought mum and mum bought my outfit, but maybe at some other shops so we can diversify it a bit through the months, you know? But, <coughs> oh my Lord, my throat. It's currently four o'clock on Boxing Day as we're filming this. And I'm not going to lie to you, I am Hank Marvin. Absolutely starving. So I cannot wait after this to go and get some blooming food in me let me tell you that but yeah let us know what you've been up to boxing day um boxing day when i was younger used to be quite eventful like we'd go to nan and granddad's or we'd have family round. but now it's just very chilled it's very chilled i think it could be more eventful if i had my own place because i'd want like people around and i'd want to have like a traditional games day i don't know why i just have a thing about games Board games, card games, I want my house to be the gaming house. So if you're bored and there's nothing on telly, you know what? Grab out a board game and here we go. So yeah, we shall see. But uh, let's wait. I'll probably have a kip away from my second outfit. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, in you come. I can just hear like a clip, 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 clip. Oh, this is well short. <laughs> I'd have to have something You're already rolling. No, no. Right. Oh, I like that! I'd have to have something on the bottom, like leggings, but I do like it. Okay, you don't... Yeah. See, I would just rock that as it is, but I didn't think Mum would. I think you're a little no, it's bit, a bit short, conscious. Yeah. So if you had jeans on with it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you can draw these in. Yeah. Actually, I won't do that because it makes it no. ride up a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be exposing on the last video of it. But I think that's like quite a nice throw on over because you could have it as a dress or you could have it as like a jumper or even a jacket. Yeah. If, say, you had t shirt and jeans and thought, oh, it's a little bit nippy, yeah, put this it on is over a perfect the top, like a jumper jacket. Yeah, I do like it, but as I say, I'll have to wear something on the bottom. What about the not, boots? Not sure about them because they seem quite. They fit me, but they're quite loose on the front. Bit gaping. Yeah, yeah. Can we see? But if you just Hang scoot on. a bit, I was gonna say, don't flick your leg in the air. <laughs> and yeah, that goes all the way cool, up, doesn't it? The zip. Yeah, yeah. That goes all the way up. So you could yeah, have right. it as a proper jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Careful for lifting up. Yeah. <laughs> and then go all the way back. We might be able to see the booties. You go all the way back, 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 back. Oh, it's like herding cattle. <laughs> I'll zoom into the boots so yeah. that you can see. See, I think if you had jeans tucked in then they would look nice. And maybe if you had a pair of like bed socks, it might gape it out a bit. Yeah, but I'm not sure with them. You're not sure? Would yeah. you probably wear that more with your crocodile effect boots yes. that you've got out? She yeah. got a pair of boots And maybe uh, my jeggings. Yeah. And this with a vest top underneath. 
she got a pair of boots set that I bought her, I think, for last year for her birthday or Christmas. So she's finally getting out to wear. That's what you could wear maybe when we go London into the month for a meal. Yeah. Get a nice yeah. dress or jeans and a jumper top. Yeah. Because they're smart boots. What, them? Yeah. The new ones that you've got. Yeah, out. yeah. I really like this. And I don't think that's too bad for 14 quid. No, I quite like Because it's very versatile. Yeah. Wear it with jeans or have it as like just a chuck on over if it's a little bit chilly. Yeah. What do you think of the hat? Uh, yeah, right. I don't think. See, now I don't think she looks too bad in a beanie. A fedora, I don't think is your style, but a beanie you're all right with. <laughs> she looks like her own little gog, didn't you? <laughs> I like that, and I did realise it probably is a bit short for mum because I didn't realise it has splits at the side. Yeah, yeah. That would be all right yeah. for me. Maybe <laughs> not. For I would give that an eight and a half. Oh, well, I like that. I'd say ten. You'd give this the a top, ten as well. Yeah, oh, the ten. ten. Yeah. But the whole outfit. Oh, I'd say nine. I'd give an eight and a half just purely because boots. mum's a bit funny with the boots. Yeah. I love this. I think it's such a versatile piece. And I think the hat. You've I might be looking for another colour in this because when I get something that I like. You're like me. We because, want to ignore No, colours. no. Because I don't have many clothes, I think, yeah, I like that. I'll get another one. Like the jumper. Yeah. You know, if I see that in a charcoal or grey, I'll get another one. This is where yeah. I get it from. If I find something that fits and it works... No, but I don't have to have every colour. I'll just get another <laughs> one. I get, like, everything in that collection. But I do think that's good. And as I say, if you had it as a jacket, you could use this to cinch in a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. And it's got pockets, which is good. So and, again, and also, I can have a vest top underneath, can <laughs> it? Expose, the expose. But you could have this, say, on a April day. Yeah, right, when it's right. like just a bit chilly, if you want yeah. just like a chuckle. Or when over. it's mild. This, I think, would be mum's equivalent, like my checkered shirts. So when you wear yeah. an outfit and it's a little bit nippy, I always chuck on a shirt. I it's... should have really kept that pink one we had, you know, but I didn't, no. Because but... I'm not really... See, I love a shirt just to chuck on. Yeah, but it's my age, Shan, you got You've got a checkered shirt, mother. Like Queenie I... used to wear checks. Like I like them leather trouser things, but I thought, oh, I've seen people Why in not? Them. No, not 63, Shane. I can't wear them. I think you could. That with your boots, nice like knitted jumper, kind of like what you got me for the Christmas market. So we're going out for dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't mind this. I think this is a key piece. I think this would be good yeah. for your wardrobe. Yeah. Right. The last piece de resistance. And yes, you are right. I have my pyjama bottoms down underneath, as you see. You see the top half, it'll always be the bottom half that I'm just comfy in. Guys, you know when like you have a few days off and you don't check your emails? <gasps> and you know what it is? It's all the Boxing Day sales and I can't. I physically can't. I need to be really good. But there's part of me that's like, oh, just have a look. Go on, just treat yourself. Has anyone else treated themselves in the Boxing Day sales? Please do let me know. Please do let me know. Oh my god, these are good offers as well. Whoa, up to 60% off. Hello? I mean, you would just... You'd be silly not to uh, take advantage of that. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good for my bank balance. Oopsie. I think I'm going to have to have a, a little look at this. Later on, oh, anything from Doc Martins? No, just as a sow. Okay, we'll have a look.
take this makeup off after, right? Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the book fell. It's my foot's bleeding. The boots fell on my foot. I can't even get them on, viewers. Maybe you should have had just a little, maybe a small pair of Chelsea boot or something. What? Do they not stretch at the top? No, I can't get my foot. <laughs> Are you trying? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you could have got me a little pair of uh, Chelsea boots in a brown or tan. No, that can't. No, there's got to be a way to get that on because there's no stretch in there. I can't get it over my foot. <laughs> I can't get my feet. Oh, I'll have to wait with a pair of Chelsea boots for yours. <laughs> They'd go nice with the um, black croc ones. What, black and brown? Yeah. Oh, you got it over there and trying to do the button? Yeah, yeah. And it's not too far. What size is this? So that's a 20. But it's parenthood. Yeah. And I think an 18 may be a bit tight on the girls, oh, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm crying. All I can do is, ow, ow. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I do. What's it? Has it got pockets? It's not it? got pockets. But again, I think like with a body warmer. Yeah, cinch it in a bit. But a belt? I'd rather, no, I'd rather have it a bit loose than... Would you put a little belt around it? No, just leave it like no? this. I was looking to see if they had any pockets, because... No, you wouldn't have it on pockets. I think an 18 in the maternity thing would be too tight, isn't it? Because look at that nice blue girl. dress we had. Yeah. Couldn't get a 20, because I thought... <laughs> I've broke my toe, viewers. <laughs> All I can do was... Ow! I can't get the Yeah, the hill fell on it. <laughs> well, the hill of this book. Yeah, it just hit right down on it. She'll go back to Primark and be like, these need to come with a health and safety warning. I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> There's no stretch and the hill cut my foot. Oh my God, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Well, they have a very snazzy boot. No, but if I go there, I'm going to try and get her a... I know you said I can wear their new, new brown suit. ones. I've got spot in I know, it's because I'm, I'm crying. Right. But I think I might get a pair of uh, beige or brown little Chelsea boots. What, like the little black ones? Yeah, that yeah, got? yeah. I wear my little comfy. black ones, yeah, for work. They're so comfy. Yeah, because I've got a black pair from there and the pair you bought me with the gold on the back, haven't I? I'd give the dress like an eight and a half. Oh, no, I like this. You like nine. that? Yeah. Just not with the boots? No, no. <laughs> and the injury that they've caused? Yeah. Mr Primark. <laughs> I'll be going down there tomorrow. I'll, I'll be wearing my slippers tomorrow. Say, Mr. Primark, I've had an injury getting something on your in your shop. Where is it? Oh, on the third oh. toe. Just fell. Blood. Uh. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to put all that innards in there again in case I drop it again. Oh, I got my head. Don't I dropped my phone the other day and think, can this hurt socks on? Because the corner of it yeah. caught it. But the corner's really sharp. Like you run your think, imagine having that cut across your toe. Yeah, you what? <laughs> I've, just had, I've just had a heel boot on my toe. Oh my goodness, right. right. Let's round this up before I wet myself. Right, we've got to get drunk. <laughs> we've now composed ourselves a little bit. Mum said, she was just saying, imagine if that happened if she was in the store. She said she would be like, first aid, first aid. Yeah, I would have had two viewers. 
Oh my god. He has actually took a chunk out of her tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got much going for you on my left foot because I've got problems with... It's not my ankle, it's that bit that goes up at the back. I just said to Shannon, I might as well have my foot cut off. For the last Primark call, this has been very eventful. Yeah, yeah. I think we've had some downright no-nos, a.k.a. the boots. But I think we've had some thumbs up. Yeah. The snoody. You like the dress and yeah. you like the jumper dress. Yes, so I, I think do. I've done quite well on this. Not sure about the bobble uh, viewers, but... Maybe try it with your hair loose because <coughs> you don't really wear a bobble hat with no, your hair I, like that. No, but I said in the new year I might get rid of all this. Might have a chop. But you yeah. know that your head's always cold, so you need a hat. I might just go to the shop and say put a number two on. Regressed like to her I did childhood, before. Yeah. No, when I was younger. Regressed to her child and then yeah. your head would definitely be cold. No, but my hair, Mark, because you said it, my hair's thinning. It has got finish. You're yeah. getting older. All right, thank you. So, I think i done quite well on this, and that marks the last one of 2022. As I say, 2023. Yeah, Who knows what's going to come up for the future, but yes. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What did you think was the best outfit from today? Or what do you think has been the best item that I've picked mum up? Definitely not the boots, yours. <laughs> Not the boots. I think the best thing I've probably picked you up this year is probably your brown dress because you've been living in that yeah. and your slippers. And I like this and I like that uh, dress thing you just got. The grey thing. Yeah. So it's been very eventful. But yeah. Take care. Stay safe as always. And you'll see us probably tomorrow with a brand new video. Who knows what that's going to be. Yeah. Bye, guys. It might be me in the hospital view. <laughs> 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 <laughs>